happy Mother's Day. I love that you're all chatting and talking and loving on each other. We're going to love on Jesus together right now. Let me grab my sheet. Um, my name is Janice Beatty. I'm part of the elder team. Welcome to Cornerstone Christian Fellowship Church in the heart of Westchester, Pennsylvania, for those who will be watching on Facebook Live. Um, happy Mother's Day. We hope that you feel loved today as a mom and that you appreciate your mom, wherever she is. We love you and we appreciate you. Our mission is... Okay, for those of you who didn't quite catch that, our mission is loving God and loving others fearlessly, and we hope to do that with you today. Um, we want you to check your bulletin. There are lots of announcements in our bulletin. We want you to um, keep up with us on social media. We're on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and someplace else. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so um, We have a new members class coming up. Next Sunday, now, this, we're doing something different. We're having one new members class. So if you want to find out what it is to be a member here at Cornerstone, if you want to learn about who we are and why we do what we do, if you want to find out about leadership and the different ministries in the church, we invite you to come out to that new members class. It's next Sunday after service. We're going to have lunch. Um, just to make it a little bit easier for us to plan, we ask you to um, just email the church to uh, reserve your spot. But if you forget to do it and you get here next Sunday and you go, oh, I forgot, still come on out to that class. It's going to be fantastic. Um, Finally, before I give the, the mic to Stuart, we have planned and unplanned portions of the service. And so if you feel that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you and you have a word for the congregation, just come up quietly to the elders. We'll be in the corner over there, or we'll go to the corner over there, to our prayer corner, and we will um, listen to your word and see if it's for the body. So with that, welcome, and I'm going to ask Mr. Stuart Tatum to come up, please. Welcome, Stuart. Today in uh, the USA, I don't know how many other countries, it's Mother's Day. In Great Britain, uh, Mother's Day or Mothering Sunday is usually in March, so it's at different times. But Jude and I established this tradition of surprising our mothers. We send them flowers for today, and then it's always a surprise for them because they don't remember it's Mother's Day. So we're going to pray for, um, say some prayers for Mother's Day. And I would like to begin with, actually, for everyone to stand, and you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to pray some, pr some <coughs> more liturgical-type prayers this morning. So this first one is for everyone. We pray for anyone who needs the care of a mother, for any for whom this has been a hard day, for any who are suffering as a result of broken relationships, for anyone feeling lost, lonely, fragile, or afraid. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you, says the Lord. May it be so for us. We thank God for people who offer us the care of a mother, for their nurture and care, for their example and inspiration, for their love and friendship. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you, says the Lord. May it be so for us. We pray to our loving God, guardian and nurturer of all relationships, who has given us the right to be called children of God. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you, says the Lord. May it be so for us. Now, if you'd like to, uh, if you're here with your 
mother or someone who's given you care, if you'd like to surround them and put your hands on them, we'll pray for the, give thanks for them and pray for them. Lord, on this day set aside to honor and remember mothers, we give you thanks for our mothers. We're grateful that you chose to give us life through them and that they received the gift of life from you and gave it to us. Thank you for the sacrifices they made in carrying us and giving us birth. We thank you for the women who raised us, who were mothers in our childhood whether birth mum, adopted mum, older sister, aunt, grandmother, stepmother, or someone else. We thank you for those women who held us and fed us, who cared for us and kissed away our pain. We pray that our lives may reflect the love that they showed us and that they would be pleased to be called our mums. Amen. And then one more for those who find this a difficult day. God, our Father, we ask you to bless all who live alone, those who have lost their partner in marriage, those who have never married, those whose families are grown up and away from home, those who have outlived other members of their families and many of their friends. Be with them to assure them of your love and of their value to you every moment of their lives and enable them to rejoice in the fellowship of your church on earth and in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to use this. All right, so this is what we're going to do. You all sat down. I'm going to have you stand up again. <laughs> so we never know who we're standing next to in the room. We never know who we're standing next to regarding who's a mom, who wants to be a mom but wasn't able to be a mom. We don't know that we're standing next to somebody who's maybe lost a child. So this is what I want us to do, is to turn to any female you see in this room, young and old, and I want you to just give them a hug and say happy Mother's Day and greet one another. So go ahead through. Let's come back together. Did every female in the room get a hug? Is there any woman, child, female in this room that did not get a hug? All right, then we've covered y'all. Very good. Let's all stand. Keep standing. I know y'all want to sit, but we're going to stand. We can stand. We can do it. We can do this. All right. So Dana sang this song this morning, and it was so sweet. And uh, it, just, it just struck my heart. <laughs> and it's this. 
Take courage, my heart. Stay steadfast, my soul. He's in the waiting. Hold on to your hope as your triumph unfolds because he's never failing. This is who God is. He is the one that carries us through. He is the one that never fails. Richard Rohr says this, everything will be all right in the end. And if it's not all right, it is not yet the end. That needs to be our mantra, that when we're down, we're low, we know that God is not finished yet. So this morning, let's give God everything we got and let's worship him as the one that is never failing, the one that never leaves us. And this is what I love is that he is in the waiting. So if you're in a waiting place today, he's right there with you. Trust him. And one of the ways that we express that we trust him is by worshiping him even when we don't feel like it. So this morning, let's give him his due. Let's worship him. And let's just make the declaration, no matter where we are, happy, sad, indifferent, wherever we are, he is still worthy of praise. Let's worship this morning, church. Who am I that the highest king would welcome I was lost, but he brought me in and his love. i 
love those words. I am chosen, not forsaken. Because you are for me. He is not against you today. He is for you today. You are who he says you are. Not who somebody else says you are. Not who someone growing up put a label on you and said, this is who you are. Not even what some counselor or some brilliant person said you are. You are who God says you are today. I am who he says I am today. Who is he saying that you are today? What are you hearing? What are you hearing from him right now? What do you hear him saying? Oh, love it. his refrigerator <laughs> even all my stupid little pictures they're all there you know I say that because I still I still have my kids little things like the pinch pot and ready make a pinch pot when they were a kid I still have it I still have these little things that my kids made and just to think God like he just saves everything we are everything we make everything we do he saves us he saves us all in a special place and he says I decide who you are listen to my voice listen to what I'm saying about you just got to sing those words one more time I'm chosen not forsaken praying I heard these sweet little words it was very simple I heard God saying I'm holding your heart in my hand today and I just wanted to extend that to you today if your heart is heavy if it's full of joy if it's broken if it's an anxious today he's got your heart in his hand today and he's holding on to you thank you God you, you just you're all over us God you just love us so much and you just hold us together even when we feel like we're falling apart you just hold us together thank you God thank you God
all sing it. of these words I just hear God's whisper as I'm sure you do too I am not finished yet I am not finished yet yes. and our declaration as we're singing this song is I will keep praising you yes. I will keep standing I will keep believing I will keep trusting and I'm thinking even specifically on Mother's Day. I know within this room there are children that mother's hearts are breaking over. And I hear the whisper, I am not finished yet. Yes, thank you, God. That our journey is to keep calling out and to keep breaking darkness. Yes. To keep calling them to who God is. And I know that there are those in this room that, is all, that have also lost children and they're on the other side but here's the truth he's finished now with them because he they're on the other side and they're full and they're complete and they're whole because God always wins Lord in the name of Jesus we call our children back to you in the name of Jesus we know that you who began a perfect work in them, you will bring it to completion until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we break the darkness in their lives now in the name of Jesus. We stand as a community and we break the darkness and we call them to you. And Lord, the destiny that you have laid out for them will come to pass in their lives in the name of Jesus. What you have called them to, Lord, we stand on and we say yes. That they are first and foremost your children, God. First and foremost yours, even before they were ever ours. And Lord, we stand and we praise you and we say yes and amen to your promises. Thank you, God. And we trust you, Lord. And if we're looking at a situation and it doesn't seem over yet, it's because it's not over yet, and that's what we hold to. If this is you today, grab a hold of it. Make it your confession. Entrust yourself and entrust your children to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. to come forward to give a word that speaks just to what Pastor Tracy was praying. Um, so when we were singing that song that you're not finished yet, um, I, I think of life as a mountain um, and God is taking us up that mountain um, and I can see like people trekking up that mountain and someone just stopping in their tracks being like, I can't do this anymore. And like, it's like they settle they look and they see that view and they're like, wow, it's really pretty. Um, but God takes off their load and then looks at them and is like, this view may be great, but the view up there is greater. He's not finished with you yet. So I submit that to you guys today. Yes. Until the dry bones wake. To the mountain shake until the darkness breaks, oh God. I will praise you, I will praise you until the dry bones 
Faithful God. Joan, you're going to almost get me to scream like you screamed. Not going to happen today. <laughs> Soon. 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 Well, welcome. I'm asking my service to come forward and, and join me. Uh, we're about to go into our worship of offering and tithes. We're just taking this time for you to prepare yourself. And for those that are writing a check, making out the Cornerstone Christian fellowship or ccf if you are donating through our apps and electronically we thank you the instructions are either on the board or on your screen we thank you for your support of the ministry so that we continue to reach out to others and show them that we understand and know a god that is faithful that sees us where we are that understands who we are and that have put this precious gift on the earth called a mother that is faithful in her raising of us. I see a number of little small babies today and I see the mothers cradling them and caressing them and showing them love. That is what we as humans need. And I think one of the other songs is it, it won't be forgotten. So mothers, mothers, through the hard times, we won't forget. Through the lonely times, mothers, you are what gives us strength. You create our, the foundations of our society, of our home, and of our nation. We celebrate you this morning. Men, give a, a clap for our mothers today. Bob, I'm going to ask if you pray over the offering. Father, thank you for your faithfulness. You're always providing for us, Lord. I just ask that you would bless this offering, that you know what we need before we even ask. We give thanks for your faithfulness in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thank you for your sacrifice. But before we do, we just want to give a welcome to the families of our new precious little ones, baby Victoria, baby Ian, and baby Ezekiel. Families, will you just stand so we can all wave and say hello to you? The families of the babies being dedicated today. Thank you for being here and thank you for for allowing us to share in your bundles of joy today. Make sure you guys welcome them and give them hugs after service. We're going to pray over our children now. Father God, we thank you for the children. You said let the children come unto you. So we thank you right now that as they go into their classrooms to hear your word, Lord, that their hearts are ready to receive. We thank you for the teachers, Lord, who give of themselves tirelessly to pour into your children. We thank you, Lord, that it's a blessing today for them to receive your word. We thank you for all that you're giving to us in Jesus' name. Children, you are dismissed. Oh, say hello to somebody. <laughs>